What's up guys, welcome back. So today this video I'm going to be breaking down the East region uh, for March Madness. So I'm going to be doing four videos where I got the East, South, uh, West, and Midwest as well. So we'll be looking for those to come out later today as well. Um, before I get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to the winner of the giveaway, Roman from Massachusetts. Uh, so I'll be sending him that ticket and uh, he'll be watching those games in Columbus. Uh, I as well be will be in Columbus as well this weekend. Uh, so I'll be putting stuff up on my Instagram and Twitter, uh, so be sure to look for that. Uh, but now I'm going to go ahead and talk about who I think is going to win those matchups in the East bracket. Starting at the top, Duke playing the winner in North Dakota State and North Central. Um, either way, I like Duke in this one. Um, Duke has been playing extremely well recently since they got Zion back. Uh, they dominated the ACC tournament, uh, had a big win over UNC and Florida State especially. Um, but you look at that strength of schedule, second, net rank, third. Uh, score a crazy amount of points per game, um, and they do a good job on the defensive end as well. They like to pick up the pace, like to run and transition. Uh, neither of those teams are going to be able to handle that. The only thing that concerns me is Duke's free throws, but I think against North Dakota State or North Central, they'll be fine. I think they'll uh, run that lead up. I think Zion's going to be absolutely dominant in that first one there. Next game, UCF going up against VCU. 8-9 um, seed, always a tough one to pick. Uh, I do like VCU in this one, however. Uh, a very good defensive team uh, in VCU, UCF. I uh, got Taco Fall, big guy for them who can uh, block shots down low. But I think VCU is just going to limit them. Uh, they do a good job rebounding as well. They also have the free throw edge. Uh, a lot of these games come down to free throws, so I'm going to give that one to VCU uh, to face uh, Duke in the round of 32. Next game, a very fun one here, interesting. Uh, Liberty going up against Mississippi State. Um, Mississippi State without uh, one of the Weatherspoon's brothers. It uh, looks like he'll be out. He's suspended. Um, I say it's a game time decision, but that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Liberty, a team that uh, likes to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, I actually like them to get this upset. They're a much better defensive team. I know their strength of schedule wasn't there, but Mississippi State's been up and down all year. I've seen them get down early in games, so I like Liberty to win that one. Next game we got 13, St. Louis going up against Virginia Tech, ranked fourth. Uh, Virginia Tech's getting back their point guard, Justin Robinson, uh, net rank of 11th. Uh, Virginia Tech's a very underrated defensive team. That's a team that uh, not many people throw in that elite defensive category, but they are. St. Louis cannot shoot the ball extremely well, especially from the line. Uh, they don't have um, the tools they need to pull off an upset like that. So I'm going to go with Virginia Tech in that one to get the win. Next game, um, Belmont uh, or Temple versus Maryland. I think Belmont's going to win that play-in game. Um, going up against Maryland, one of the youngest teams in the country, a very inconsistent team as well. Uh, they have a very good strength of schedule, a very good net rank. Uh, they struggle to shoot the ball outside. They rely heavily on Bruno Fernando and Jalen Smith down low. I like Belmont uh, to win this game the way they can shoot the ball, spread the floor, uh, and they can – create those long rebounds, second chance opportunities for him. So I like Belmont to get the upset over the very young team in Maryland. Next game we got LSU versus Yale. I hear a lot of people picking Yale in this one. I'm going to stick with LSU. Uh, Yale, um, a very good team, um, net rank 86th, uh, pretty good out of the Ivy League. But LSU, they just got too much going. Uh, they got uh, Javante Smart, who's back for them. Uh, obviously without Will Wade, but still a lot of guys for them. Nas Reed, Big B. Williams, uh, Tremont Waters, one of the best point guards in the country. I think LSU is going to get the uh, win in that one in advance uh, against Yale. Next game we got a really good one. Number 10, Minnesota against number 7, Louisville. You see very good records against the top 25 for a couple of those teams. 5-8 and eight for Minnesota, 4-8 and eight for Louisville. Louisville had a very tough schedule all year. They're battle-tested. Chris Mack, I think he's going to have this team ready. A much better free throw shooting team. Also a team that can score the ball. Um, but they have struggled recently to score. So I think Minnesota, if they can get out, out of rhythm, it's going to be a tight one. Uh, but overall, I do like the Cardinals to win in that one. Got too many options. Cunningham, Nora, a lot of guys that can score for them. So I like the Cardinals. Uh, final game of the first round in the East, Bradley versus Michigan State. I uh, don't want to say it's uh, impossible for Bradley to win this game. Uh, but Michigan State is playing extremely well right now. I mean, we've seen Michigan State lose early on in uh, the tournament before. I do like Michigan State in this one, though. A much better shooting team. Really like to push the pace. Cassius Winston, 
uh, been playing extremely well. They've been battling injuries all year. Kyle Arns looks as if he'll be out, so I still do like Michigan State in that one, though, as they've been battle-tested all year, like I said. Next game, come from the round of 32, VCU against Duke. Um, Duke, uh, second in strength of schedule. Um, obviously, uh, VCU, a very good defensive team, which could cause problems for Duke. But the way Duke's been getting on the offensive glass, especially recently, has been impressive. Uh, they haven't even shot the ball extremely well in that ACC tournament. So I do like them uh, to get that win over VCU, a team that can struggle to score the ball. I think Duke's going to get in there, create turnovers, and get the win over VCU. Next game we got Virginia Tech going up against Liberty. Uh, Virginia Tech, uh, like I said, a very underrated defensive team. Uh, Justin Robinson is back for them. Um, had a tough loss in the quarterfinals against Florida State, the ACC tournament. I do expect Virginia Tech to win this game. Uh, Liberty is going to be a tough task, though. A good defensive team is going to be a defensive battle. Uh, but I think Virginia Tech ultimately is the, has the more um, arsenal of shooters, uh, a much better team at, in Virginia Tech. So I like them to win that game. Next game, number three, LSU versus Belmont, ranked 11th. Belmont, like I said, a team that can... Uh, make a run, really shoot the ball, spread the floor. Uh, that's going to be a tough matchup for LSU. Belmont has not faced a top 25 team yet this year, uh, but they got a lot of confidence, uh, a great coach and uh, bird over there. Uh, so I do like Belmont to actually get the upset over LSU. Looks as if Will Wade will not be there. Uh, going to be tough uh, to win that game, but I do like Belmont. Next game, Michigan State versus Louisville. Louisville already beat Michigan State earlier on this year. Um, back in November, um, but Louisville was a different team then. Michigan State's a different team now. I think Michigan State has improved way more than Louisville. Louisville might have taken a couple steps back. Uh, Louisville has struggled to score the ball against uh, those ACC teams, especially those good defensive teams. Michigan State's defense rotationally uh, has been much better later on in the year. I think Michigan State's de defense is going to lead to some offense for them. Uh, Cassius Winston, that pick-and-roll option, tough to defend. I like them in that one. Next game, Sweet 16, Virginia Tech versus Duke. Uh, we saw Virginia Tech beat Duke earlier on this year. Uh, Duke did not have Zion Williamson, though. He is the key for them, the X factor. Um, Duke struggled to rebound, but with Zion Williamson, much better. Uh, they could have Marquise Bolden back as well. Uh, so I do like Duke in this one. I think they're going to shoot the ball much better. Uh, they seem to shoot the ball better in bigger stadiums. Uh, that's something I've noticed uh, as the year went on. So I do like Duke to advance to Elite Eight in that one. Next game, Michigan State versus Belmont. Uh, Belmont, incredible run. Uh, if they get this far, I think they do. Um, but I think it ends against Michigan State. Um, Michigan State, like I said, a great rotational defense, a team that can match that shooting of Belmont. A team with Matt McQuaid, Cassius Wincy can shoot the ball. Kenny Goins, if he's feeling it, can shoot it. Also got Henry who can get to the elbow, uh, hit some shots. Michigan State is just too good. Uh, I think they find a way to beat Belmont. And uh, advance to the lead eight. Lead eight matchup, everyone wants to see. Number two, Duke, or number one, Duke, number two, Michigan State uh, in the East here. Uh, I do like Duke in this one, though. Uh, with Zion Williamson, they've been playing uh, at a different level. Like I said, have not shot the ball extremely well. Uh, they're going to have to find a way to defend Cassius Winston, though. They got Trey Jones, who would give him trouble. I also got those longer guards who match up well against Michigan State, get some high hands up on those three point shots, especially for McQuaid. So I do like Duke to win this one in advance to the Final Four. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out my other uh, region brackets. i um, be putting those out one by one uh, throughout the rest of the day. So thanks for watching. Um, be sure to check out my other regional brackets.